Corey, what would you leave this audience with in terms of one statement on diversity? Well, when, when, um, the ball is great. It, again, diversity um, on my plan, it's not the number one issue. Whoa. Whoa. It, may, it might be a number one issue with them, but it's the number one issue on my platform is to stop the wasteful spending. And the last thing I'm going to say is, oh, the last, if you want to leave a thought, when you go to mark your ballot, who do you trust? Who do you trust with your hard-earned tax dollars before you mark your ballot for mayor? Which one of us will you trust with your money at City Hall? So that's we'll leave, it, we'll leave that back. Um, Rock, Rock. Today we have uh, the uh, opportunity to see the contrast in the options that are available to you for who should be the next mayor of Toronto. I stand before you as someone in contrast to Councillor Ford who says that diversity is not a top priority to say that this city, this province and country has given this man, an openly gay man, an opportunity that few other places would offer. Diversity, our strength, is the motto of our city. How can you be a candidate to be the mayor of a city and say it is not a top priority if it is, in fact, the motto of your very city? To misunderstand, to misunderstand that inclusion and offering genuine opportunity for people of diverse backgrounds to experience all that they can bring to the table is not just a matter of social justice, it is a matter of economic necessity that is fundamental to our future growth and our prosperity as a city. I say to you that if you elect me as mayor, I will lead in calling out and using my loud voice to say that the Canadian experience trap must be recognized and addressed. And more specifically today, I brought forward a policy, an eight-point plan to make sure that where the city actually spends money, more than $11 billion a year, I will deliver results of the kind that hit your pocketbook and provide opportunities for diverse communities to experience some of the benefit that comes when their government actually gives them an opportunity to provide them with services and jobs. Thank you very much.